Hi guys, it is February 25, 2019. I want to thank my subscriber for sending this along, Cloud Streets. Cloud Streets? Have you ever heard of Cloud Streets? Well, thank God we have meteorologists to inform us of what we thought were cloud formations due to microwave radiation, microwave frequencies hitting cloud, making those ripples. No, Brooks Garner told us they're cloud streets. It's cold air blowing over warm water. It creates rows of low cumulus clouds over Great Lakes and New England. These can create snow squalls. They're cloud streets. Thanks, Brooks. I was just wrong. But you're the expert. You're a meteorologist. And apparently, you're the sexiest meteorologist, what, on the planet? Brooks Garner. K-H-O-U. Houston, we have a problem. Your sexiest weatherman has no integrity. He lies to get his paycheck. Yeah, well, guys, I'm not going to, you know, pretend or lie to you. I, the saturation of lies has become so thick that we are just drowning, gasping for air, trying to find some truth. Uh, on satellites, somewhat unusual to see cloud streets over the Gulf of Mexico, Formed as cold, modified Arctic air blows over the comparatively warmer sea water. It's a sign of just how chilly today's air mass truly is. Update at noon on KHOU 11 and watch him, girls, because he's the sexiest weatherman. This is our country. Watch this. 现场的各位朋友，大家好，欢迎来到新华社。我是由新华社和搜狗公司联合培育的全球首个AI合成女主播。我的名字叫辛小萌，我的声音和外形脱胎于新华社新媒体中心新闻主播区萌。我将会在今
it real. It real. Because he is it. It. He is an it. When he can come out and and then uh, claim that these are cloud streets and not caused by microwave frequencies, well, he's no longer, he's subhuman, an it. Brooks, you're an it. But could we have artificial intelligent beings walking among us? Yes. And I do believe, and you know, I saw a comment last night that somebody said, wait until artificial intelligence rolls out. It's rolled out. They'll be rolling out an awful lot more. But it is already here. And I said in a video, I don't know how long ago, a couple of days ago, that I felt that artificial intelligence was um, controlling our weather. But that's, you know, I don't have any proof of that. All right, well... They're not cloud streets, guys. <laughs> it's not cloud streets. In fact, let me bring up a video. This is a short cloud street video for you. Anderson, South Carolina, inland, not over any warm water, inland, cloud streets. You can see them in the sky, as we have for many, many years. Well, <sighs> cloud streets, okay. Here they are. We have an awful lot of cell towers that emit microwave frequencies. But no, we're supposed to believe Brooks Garner because he's an expert. NASA, I'll show you cloud streets. But look at this. Well, Brooks, you might even consider this uh, cloud streets that have lattice fencing. This is the 23rd of February. This is the, when I have said in my videos that aerosols, they were, they were uh, injecting aerosols into the atmosphere to feed that endless rain that we were getting so many of the states were getting, I just saw, and I didn't look into it, but apparently Alabama has declared a state of emergency. No doubt flooding, possible tornadoes, I'll have to look into it, but it's very obvious that something is amiss here. Oh, we'll call these cloud streets. Right, Brooks? All right. Um, wow, man, life has really become something so unbelievably deranged. And reading your comments, I get, yeah, an awful lot of you are also having a problem trying to, you know, just keep going in this life that has just become one big lie and you know, you trying to get, trying to get uh, the truth across to those in your life. You get attacked. They're hostile, um, calling you names, acting like little children. How do you deal with this life? How do you, you know, the human being really does like to understand its life experience. And understanding one's life experience, then, well, you are someone who can just go on and you're not fraught with a lot of angst and emotions that, whether it's frustration or anger or depression, um, it's, it's a very important ingredient to having a life that's balanced and, uh, happy and meaningful, but with all of these lies, it's just nothing means anything. Look at all of the different colors, too. you got the white, you've got this, uh, well, whiter shade of pale, or 
what are they dumping into the atmosphere? Look at what looks like perhaps a lithium dump, this red, this pink, cloud streets. Thank you, Brooks. I've gone 60 years. I never knew we had cloud streets. All right. Well, I'll link below to this site, and you can come over here and check out all of the cloud streets that have been, oh, Brooks, it's so not unusual. I feel like breaking into that Tom Jones song. It's, well, I won't. Um, cloud streets all over. But the uh, uh, the increase of the aerosols has, you come over to the world view and you'll get, you can go back and back and back and back and back. All of these satellite Im images. This was yesterday. Look at these aerosols. Look at these cloud streets, Brooks. All of these toxic chemicals, heavy metals. And this is um, in the Gulf. and inland. And I'm sorry for the clicking noise of my mouse. Look at this. Cloud streets, toxic chemicals. What the hell is this? You know, they are dumping so... Oh, the heavy load of toxins is really No wonder so many of you are really struggling to feel okay physically. And no wonder so many of you are struggling to feel okay emotionally in this world. Because there's something very wrong with it. Very wrong. Let's go to, uh, oh, something's very wrong with my computer. You know, I lost a video that I am so pissed. Um, I don't understand what happened. I went to save it on Snagit, and then I got this weird message that I, it just flashed. I couldn't even read the message, and the video was gone. And I hope somebody got it. It was last night. The incredible 360 powerful emissions of extremely low frequencies in Southern California. I hope somebody recorded it. I am so upset that it just vanished from my computer. Um, so you can see, you know, some of it, it's not a full 360, but wow, were you being lit up. You were so lit up. I've never seen you so lit up. Southern California, how are you feeling, you guys there? Uh, you know, it wasn't... But 20 minutes ago, it was the first time that I saw no emissions out of Houston. Nothing. And then, here I am. There you go. You're extremely low frequency emitted from Houston. Um, And let me see if I, I did take this uh, also last night, but I had taken one right before or right after. Yeah, Houston, you've got a problem with your Texas Weather Modification Association providing you your weather. You've got a problem with your meteorologists who lie all the time. Michigan, you've got these crossing beams right here. You have this standing 24-7 extremely low frequency, but you have one crossing it. You've got 
these uh, bizarre weather fronts that just, well, they ain't Mother Nature because you see how wonderfully lined they are. And that's not how Mother Nature works. But we can't get through to anybody. That weather modification is taking place. Let me see if I can get to California. Come on, move it on, move it on down the line. All right, well, I'm telling you, last night it was nothing like that. I'm sorry for. Um, these videos of mine. <laughs> well, just earlier we had... It's funny too because you can see how quickly things can change on these sites. Alright, so this was today And nope, don't have it. All right, there were extremely low frequencies bouncing into upstate South Carolina from Georgia just like 10 minutes ago, but now they're gone. All right. Um, the, the, the unbelievable spraying to keep these storms going and going and going it was really well let's just say that when you have knowledge about what is taking place and then you hear how sick people are <coughs> how sick people are um, how they feel so exhausted. Well, you think about those cloud streets and then you think about the toxins that are being dumped. Cloud streets in Florida. Uh, inland, Brooks, inland. No warm seawater. You really, unfortunately, you know, you want to understand your life in, you know, a balanced way, but now the only way to understand this is by understanding that we've got great evil taking place and we have an awful lot of human beings who have no problem partaking in that evil. You know, yeah, you can put all of our problems under the umbrella of the lie. The lie. And There is only one way, there is only one way that the world can ever reverse this toxic mess, physical, mental, psychic, um, emotional, everything, everything toxic is for the individual to really take their own integrity seriously, which means they have to stop lying. All individuals have to stop lying. Outside of that, we're just going to get bombarded with more and more toxic evil killing our planet. Now, any any adult can look at these images and realize, okay, not cloud, no, not cloud, streets, microwaves, the saturation of dangerous artificial frequencies in the environment now that absolutely are as dangerous as all of the images of this toxic brew that you see right here. 
just as dangerous. Mother Nature does not work in very defined lines. And what, when you look at these images, look at all of the different colors that arise as you're rolling around. Wow. Lithium. Something very, it looks like drops of heavy metals. You see the, the um, you can see pockets of different colors. Yeah. This is not cloud. They are spraying something in this. You got the greenish colors. Not good, guys. So, um, I don't know. Tweet Brooks. Tweet him or whatever you do on Twitter. And tell him. Do you think we're morons? Do you think we're morons, Brooks? Unfortunately, whether Brooks is the sexiest artificial reporter coming out of Houston, or he's a human being, it won't matter because he does not have much of a conscience, clearly, because he is just a lying sack of shit. Who is reading his script? Um, he won't. He won't uh, respond to your tweets as like a a normal human being would. Uh, those who are decent, you know, they do have feelings when people have called them out on their lies. Those who don't care about anything but their own little paycheck and their own little life, they could care less what you think.